Now we go from something good to something better. I'm enjoying this. This is Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to another TMNT 2012 Season 3 episode review. We begin our review of Episode 4 of Season 3, The Croaking. And boy, there's a reason why it's called that. So here's the deal. I'll provide my thoughts on the episode as well as some of the things that I liked. A summary in the main points, I mean. My apologies. Anyway, let's get started. Mikey has a day of fun with Ice Cream Kitty. Sadly, his antics get him in trouble after he trashed the place. It gets so bad that he gets scolded by his brothers. Mikey runs away in response and ends up meeting some unexpected company, a mutant frog. After a scuffle, the two become friends. It wasn't long until he meets the rest, who are known as the punk frogs. The turtles and the others head to rescue Mikey, but it soon leads into some arguments that eventually lead to April and Casey getting kidnapped. After learning that Mutagen is involved, can Mikey and the turtles stop the punk frog from creating a mutated revolution? That's pretty much the whole gist of this episode. I mean... This is continuing from the events in the previous episode, Barry's Secrets, in which Mom Thing left out Mutagen in the woods. Guess where it ended up? It ended up splotched all over a mutant frog. And I like how it set things up for the next plot. It helps tie the season connected, it helps keep everything connected in continuity, and plus it gives me all the more reason to enjoy it even more. Not to mention we get a plethora of debuts in the form of the punk frogs. And these are not like the 87 punk frogs. These guys are not only different, but they have an army. A kingdom. And we also have a plethora of voice acting debuts as well. Maurice LaMarche voices Attila and Rasputin. You guys know him as Brain from Pinky and the Brain. And that makes sense because Rob Paulson voices Donatello. So think of it as a little reunion. Sort of. But I'm surprised he actually voices two people at once, and he's able to nail these different iterations very good. Kevin Michael Richardson portrays Genghis, and John Hedder, complete with Napoleon Dynamite persona, voices Napoleon. John Hedder was something I didn't expect, because I thought he would, he would actually bring out the Napoleon Dynamite into Napoleon Bonafrog. I mean, yeah, when I first heard it, whenever I feel like doing it, God... That made me giddy inside because I love the film Napoleon Dynamite. And seeing him in the show just made it all the more fun. What makes it interesting is that the punk frogs are a foil to the TMNT in many ways. There is one difference, however. They have a dislike towards humans. We actually get a backstory on how the punk frogs came about and how the disdain was created. They pretty much blame humans because it was humans who drive their home away, tearing down the, fro the forests and parks to make way for buildings and whatnot, leaving the frogs without much of a home to go to. Well, they eventually did find a home until Mutagen came about. Anytime Mutagen is involved, let's just say that it leads to some really bad things. In the case of the punk frogs, it pretty much convinced the leader of the punk frogs, Attila, that he would like cause a mutant revolution by turning humans into frogs. Sort of like how the crane would want this. Ugh. All of it just makes me feel really upset because they're, they're being no different than the crane. That's why the turtles had to do what they had to do to stop them. At least to convince them that this is not the right way. Revenge is a worthless cause. They want revenge against humans because they pretty much drove them out of their home. The farmhouse also as well gets seriously wrecked. And it happens in a big fight scene as the Turtles, April, and Casey take on the punk frogs in the army. Also, I noticed as well is that Leonardo has recovered. Hence why he can be able to fight at full strength. He's not really a recovered 100%, but it's nice to see him get involved in the fight. There were many highlights in the episode for me. But one of my favorites is Mikey bonding with Napoleon. Seeing the two get along rather well is just awesome. They're not only a foil for each other, they're the two who end up saving the day and showing that not all humans are evil. Especially at the end scene when the leader, Attila, who for some reason looks like Jabba the Hutt, is rescued by April and Casey. It makes him realize the error of his ways and it eventually gets Napoleon promoted to general. That's what makes it good because a kind heart makes for a kind leader. I really enjoyed this episode, not because of the fact that we finally get some nostalgia in there, but it's like seeing a different sort of team, a team similar to the TMNT. Like I mentioned, the Punk Frogs are a foil to the TMNT. You have a leader, you have a rude one, you have a smart one, 
And you have a guy who's can pretty much a party animal in some ways. In this case, it's Napoleon, who ends up saving the day, surprisingly. I personally liked it, but at the same time, it also gives you one sort of advice. Show some respect for nature. Because it's nature that gives us a reason to exist. And without nature, well, we humans can't survive. Too bad not all humans are good people. What can you do? I really enjoyed the episode a lot, but I gotta ask you guys, what do you guys think of it? Was it good? Was it bad? Let me know in the comments. Your My rating for the episode will be in the description below, and next week you guys are going to be getting two more. We're still going at this every Sunday with two episode reviews of TMNT. I do this because it's fun for me, and plus you guys get something to watch. Not to mention, I wish more people can check this out, because my channel needs a growth, a growth spurt, I guess. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode of you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please be sure to subscribe. Hope to hear from your thoughts in the comments. And if you're subscribed, click on the bell. Make sure it's set to all notifications. Include creator posts and then save. Because the sub button doesn't really work and most times you won't get my video. Getting notifications is the only way you can. Because that's the only way we can fight back against YouTube's BS. That's all I will say up on that. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you next week. Booyakasha!